Okay, last video of the day because I gotta go pick up kids from school. So, uh, Pearl Farms. I wanna go see Pearl Farms. And the, the American Pearl story is so amazing. So, we have these international Pearl Farms. Uh, gosh, there's just so much I have to say right now. I'm like, collect yourself, India. So let me first just say I went to an American Pearl Farm and there were two Pearl Farms that were started here in the United States. John Latondris and his protege, James Peach. They are both now deceased, but they started Pearl Farms in the U.S. Uh, on the Tennessee River and they just couldn't compete internationally. You know, the price, the labor, the yield, all of that. They, they couldn't compete, so they eventually closed. Uh, John Latondris sold his pearl farm to a gentleman named Bob Keats. He's the one I was chit-chatting with on the, the phone the other day, and he Keep, maintains the Pearl Farm, but again, it's more of just like a cool place to go and see. They're not actively producing pearls. It's not like, you know, these high yields where you experience them overseas and all that kind of stuff. But I really want to tell you about how the U.S. got started in Pearl Farms because it's so fascinating. Okay, so to start the pearl making process. So all the cultured pearl is, is there's been human intervention to make or encourage or start that pearl making process in an oyster or a mollusk. So that's all the cultured pearl is. So if you can imagine, there are all these natural pearls that you, people just find by opening up an oyster. Woo, there's a pearl, right? And, you know, by the early 1900s, they were pricey, those natural pearls. So there was a man in Japan, Mickey Moto, who bought various patents for how to culture a pearl. So basically how to encourage the oyster to make a pearl and how to manage that process, right? So what he did is he inserted a bead, a mother of pearl bead, and a piece of tissue into an oyster and you don't want the oyster to reject that little tissue in that bead right so he inserts it in there and the oyster makes a pearl on top of that bead now i gotta go get these children but where does the bead come from this is the most fascinating thing where so you've got to put a little bead in there and preferably of a mother of pearl, pre preferably of an organic material, right? You can't just like toss a rock in there or whatever. And, you know, you have to put that in there. And where does that mother of pearl bead come from? I can't wait to tell you. Stay tuned. I'm going to uh, make some more videos. I'm just having, I'm having a lot of fun. I'm really glad I took a shower after all. All right. Love y'all. Talk to you soon.